Hello everyone. I hope you are all doing well. I'm Anhar and welcome back to MSFT Fabcast. In this video, we will walk you through the step-by-step -step process of creating a rule to automatically scale a virtual machine scale set in the Azure. A virtual machine scale set in Azure is a service that allows you to deploy and manage a group of identical load balanced virtual machines. Virtual machine scale sets automatically increase the number of virtual machine instances as application demand grows and decrease the number as demand drops or according to a defined schedule. Adding instances is known as scaling out while removing instances is called scaling in. In the last video, we learned how to create a virtual machine scale set in Azure. You can find the link to that video in the description. When creating a VM scale set, we need to define the scaling method. In our example, I have selected the manual scaling mode for the VM scale set. In manual scaling, you set the number of VM instances manually. You specify the desired number and Azure ensures that the count remains consistent. There is a second scaling option called automatic scaling. With the automatic scaling option, Azure automatically increases and decreases the number of VM instances based on defined rules or metrics. The ability to auto scale lets you keep up with customer demand or respond to application performance changes throughout the life cycle of your application. Instead of manual scaling, we now want to automatically scale a virtual machine scale set by creating a rule to scale out automatically. Log into the Azure portal, go to portal.azure.com and sign into your account. Under Azure Services, click on Virtual Machines. This will open the Virtual Machines page. Click on Virtual Machines Scale Set. Here we can see the VM scale set that we created in the last video. Click on the Virtual Machines Scale Set for which you want to create a scaling rule. From the overview tab, we can verify that one instance is running in this VM scale set. Click on Instances. Verify the status of instance in our VM scale set. Expand Availability plus Scale and then click on Scaling. As you can see, the Manual Scaling option is currently set for this VM scale set. Whenever you want to increase the number of instances in a VM scale set, you just need to modify the instance count. For example, if you want two instances, change the value from 1 to 2. Then click Save to save the changes. In our example, we want to change the scaling setting from Manual to Automatic. Select the button to custom auto scale. Some information has already been filled in. You control what matrix to monitor such as CPU or disk, how long the application load must meet a given threshold and how many VM instances to add to the VM scale set. For example, we can create a rule to add more instances if CPU usage exceeds 70% for 10 minutes. Select the scale based on a matrix checkbox. Now define a rule to automatically scale out. Select the option to add a rule. Let's create a rule that increases the number of VM instances in the scale set when the average CPU load exceeds 70% over a 5 minute period. When triggered, the rule will add one more VM instance to the scale set. In scale sets with a smaller number of VM instances, you could set the operation to increase count by and then specify one or two for the instance count. In scale sets with a large number of VM instances, an increase of 10% or 20% VM instances may be more appropriate. Here you can define a value for the average CPU load. We are going with 70. Set the duration to 5 minutes. Generally, you would set a minimum of a 10 minute time period when creating the scaling rule. Under action, make sure the operation is set to increase the VM count by. Under instance count, change the value as required. We will keep the value as 1 since we want to add one more VM instance when this rule is triggered. You can also define the cooldown period. The instance will scale down once the cooling period is complete. Once ready, click add to create the rule. The scale out rule has been successfully added. On an evening or weekend, your application demand may decrease. If the decreased load persists over time, you can configure auto scale rules to reduce the number of VM instances in the scale set. The scale in option helps lower the cost of running your scale set by only maintaining the number of instances 
needed to meet current demand choose to add a rule again create a rule that decreases the number of vm instances in a scale set when the average cpu load then drops below 30 percentage over a 5 minute period when triggered the rule will remove one vm instance from the scale set change the cpu load value to 30 under action the operation is now set to decrease the vm count we'll keep the value 1 since we want to remove one vm instance when this rule is triggered the scaling rule has been successfully added we can also set an instance limit to prevent over utilization for example let's set the maximum instance limit to two instances in the top bar click save to save the changes wait for the confirmation notification to appear this may take a few seconds at this point we have successfully created a rule to automatically scale out and scale in a virtual machine scale set now let's test this rule setup click on instances click on existing vm instance currently we have a single vm instance as part of the vm scale set from the overview tab copy the public ip address open the run menu type cmd and press enter at the command prompt type ssh msft admin at now paste the copied ip address and hit enter to connect to your linux vm enter the password and press enter once connected to the scale set instance update the package list and install the stress testing tool to test the scale out rule type the command sudo apt update and press enter type the command sudo apt install stress hyphen y and press enter to install the stress testing tool okay the installation is complete let's generate artificial cpu workload on this vm using the stress application type the command sudo stress hyphen hyphen cpu 1000 and press enter let's wait for 5 to 7 minutes as specified in our scaling rule in the azure portal you should observe cpu usage rising significantly nearing 100 percent due to the stress tool as the cpu usage increases the auto scale policy will trigger the creation of additional instances you can also monitor these scaling activities in the activity log click on refresh verify the creation of second instance again click on refresh now we can see the vm status is running let me show you the cpu utilization uh, click on refresh and as you can see it is at 100 percentage and that trigger our scale rule let's again click on refresh uh, let me stop this command okay let's come back to the azure portal as you can see a second vm instance is created automatically to balance the cpu utilization load this confirms that the scaling rule has been triggered and the infrastructure has scaled to meet the demand the status indicates if the vm instance is creating as the scale set automatically scales out or is deleting as the scale set automatically scales in as we can see now we have two vm instance in a virtual machine scale set the second instance is automatically created by the scale out rule we set up earlier if the load remains high additional instances will be added until the maximum limit defined during configuration is reached this is how you can automatically scale a virtual machine scale set in the azure portal so here are the key takeaways first horizontal scaling virtual machine scale set allows you to scale your infrastructure horizontally by adding or removing vm instances based on demand second auto scaling rules you can define rules based on metrics such as cpu utilization memory usage or custom matrix to dynamically scale your resources and last cool down period it's important to have a cool down period to prevent adding too many instances too quickly which could lead to inefficiencies before we conclude a quick note if your scale set is running applications remember that the scale set does not automatically deploy your applications to newly created instances you will need to manage application deployment using custom scripts or other tools and that's it for the video on how to create a rule to automatically scale a virtual machine scale set in azure i hope you found this video helpful and informative if you have any questions or comments feel free to leave them below don't forget to like and subscribe for more videos on microsoft azure and other microsoft related topics 
Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Have a great day.